Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday the 12th or the 13th. It's the first day after daylight savings and Mike is traveling. He's up in San Francisco where he'll be for a couple of days. And uh, today's been going good. I haven't been too sleepy today despite the change. I think it's because it's nice and sunny and so um, you know, it's getting me some energy. The sun gives me energy because when it's cloudy, I get super sleepy and tired. Um, I've just been running errands. I returned some light fixtures to Home Depot, which I've been really dreading because I just kind of hate Home Depot. Like I hate that parking lot with all the big trucks that make me nervous and all the workers who mill around. Um, I don't know, for some reason I just get nervous around construction workers. And then, uh, then I went to the 99 cent store to see if they had anything interesting in terms of dog treats or bread products, but they didn't. And so now I'm going to Costco. But yeah, just running errands in the GT4. Um, update on the dog is that he's doing really well. Okay, to be honest, I kind of hated him for like a month. Like I felt like we had made a huge mistake and I just wanted to give him back. He was just the worst, like he bit everything, he peed everywhere. Like you would bring him out to pee and you would waste like 20 minutes sitting out there with him and he would never pee or poo. And then you'd bring him inside the house and then he'd pee inside the house. And not just inside the house, he would find something nice and soft like a pile of laundry or like a jacket on the floor or like his dog bed and he would pee there. I guess because it sort of simulated a nice soft bed of grass, which is where I think dogs like to pee. But it was getting so frustrating. I felt like I was wasting hours of my life with the dog. And so I was like, this is, this dog is ruining my life. Like I want to return him. But, and he was biting everything. Like he would constantly bite hands. He never got the, the idea. He bit cords. He bit everything. He didn't understand the word no. He didn't understand come it was just ridiculous but now we've had him for almost two months because we got him MLK day and um, and it's now you know the middle of March and so he's about five months old and he's doing much better I think he's actually pretty smart like he's gotten the peeing and pooping down and so he'll go outside and um, we haven't had any accidents for a while but that's also because I've been really on top of things and trying to give him a lot of opportunities to go outside and go to the bathroom, which takes up a lot of time. But it's okay. And he's super cute. And so, I, you know, whatever. He's grown on me, I have to admit. And he's a big boy now. When we got him, he was 6 pounds, and now he's about 10 pounds. And he just finished his shots. He just got his last rabies shot on Friday. So, yeah, he's good, you know. And I, what else is going on? Mm, I could talk about my makeup today. So my foundation, okay, my primer is the Too Faced Hangover RX, the original one. I like it because it gives my skin some nice moisture, which it needs. My foundation is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, which is a kind of a lightweight, watery foundation that dries quickly, but I like it. You know, I, I feel like it's not super high coverage, but I actually think it makes my skin look really beautiful and natural. So I think it's good to wear on a day that you have pretty decent skin, but are maybe just looking to cover up a little bit of redness. For my under eyes, I went with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I've moved on from the Fit Me. I decided to just be done with it, and so now I'm rotating between the NYX HD Concealer the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the Maybelline Better Skin one, the one in the blue tube, and I like it. Um, and I carried it a little bit lower down under my eyes to give more coverage since the Tarte foundation didn't give that much coverage. And then to set it, I'm, I still use the Wet n Wild, the lighter side of the Dulce de Leche contour palette, but it's really, the pan, the pan part is really big, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then for setting my foundation, I use the Physicians Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear Powder. And that has a big, uh, starting to show some hole as well, starting to show some pan, so I'm pretty excited about that too. For my eyebrows, I went with something different. 
I went with the L'Oreal some pencil just playing around just trying to get away from the it brow power since I love that so much and then for my eyes I set I, I uh, have primer potion from Urban Decay and then I've been forcing myself to get into my Viseart Grand Pro because I've been really nervous about using it just because it was so much money I mean even though I got it for 20% off, it was still $150, which is outrageous. Outrageous, I know, I know, I know. So I did that for setting the top of my brow bone. Then I did it for my crease. I used two shades in the crease. And then for my lid, I went with the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Um, I used a coppery shade called Senegal, and I did it there. And then to deepen up my outer crease just a little bit, um, I had already put away my Viseart Grand Pro, and so I ended up going in with one of the darker browns from my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which, even though it's a boring palette, it's actually really useful, so I do like it. And then for my foundation, I've moved on to the Maybelline Total Temptation, which I like. And then, what did I do? Oh, my contour. So I contoured with the middle shade from my Physician's Formula... Um, contour palette I guess it's like a three pan one it has a bronzer a contour and a matte highlight it's the matte one so I contoured with that and then for my blush I use frat boy by the balm just like a nice natural pink I did quite know where to go with that but I just went with the pink because I could have gone the warmer route like a peach or um, a coral but I decided to go pink and then for my bronzer, I did the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light, which is actually really beautiful. I really, really like that bronzer. And then for my highlight, I was just, uh, deciding whether to declutter this highlight, so I decided to use my Hard Candy Tiki quote-unquote bronzer. It's called a bronzer, and I picked it up at Walmart, but it's really a highlight. I mean, I bought it because Kathleen Lights was recommending it, and that was back when I watched YouTube without discrimination meaning like I just bought whatever anybody told me to buy because I didn't know that much about makeup and so I just bought it and it's okay and I was gonna give it to my friend Erica her daughter who's about 11 and so she's just starting to play around with makeup but I actually really like it well no I like it enough that now I don't want to give it away which really I know I should just give it away because I have like a hundred highlighters and this girl probably has like one, one highlighter and she only has that one you know highlighter which is probably like an elf baked highlighter because I gave it to her I just decluttered a bunch of highlighters to her but anyway so that's what I'm wearing on it for a highlight and then for my lips I went with something based on coffee break with Danny because I heard her saying in her last video that Urban Decay's sheer liar was just like a most beautiful the most beautiful lip color ever so I'm like whatever I'm feeling coffee break of Danny so that's what I'm wearing sheer liar and I think I used some Milani lip liner like spice or natural or something so that's what's on my face oh yeah I forgot and I set it with a Mario Badescu like rose water spritz just to give it a little bit of moisture so that's what's going on um, I'm pretty relaxed today um, I'll check in with you guys later. I finished a book yesterday. I finished uh, Thankless and Death by J.D. Robb, and so now I'm right in between books. Don't know where I'm gonna go after this. We'll see. See, look, look at my highlighter, it's popping. I don't wanna give it away. You can't blame me, right? All right, guys, talk to you later, bye.